Whew, friends, that was beautiful. That was Lift Every Voice and Sing by Simone Sparks and Preston Wilson on piano. Um, now let's do today's libation. Today's libation is for Anna Julia Hayward Cooper. Anna Julia Hayward Cooper, August 10th, 1858, February 27th, 1964 was an American author, educator, sociologist, speaker, black liberation activist, and one of the most prominent African-American scholars in United States history. Born into slavery in 1858, Cooper went on to receive a world-class education and claim power and prestige in academic and social circles. In 1924, she received her PhD from the Sorbonne University of Paris. Cooper became the fourth African-American woman to earn a doctoral degree. She was also a prominent member of Washington, D.C.'s African-American community and a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Let me get you to the next page here. Cooper's contributions to social science fields, particularly in sociology. Her first book, A Voice from the South by a Black Woman of the South, is widely acknowledged as one of the first articulations of Black feminism, giving Cooper the often used title of the mother of Black feminism. Now, let's do some Anna J. Cooper quotes. Tis a woman's strongest vindication for speaking that the world needs to hear her voice. It would be subversive of every human interested interest that the cry of one half the human family be stifled. The world has been limp long with the wobbling gait and one-sided hesitancy of a man with one eye. Suddenly the bandage is removed from the other eye and the whole body is filled with light. It sees a circle where before it saw a segment. The darkened eye restored, every member rejoices with it. Anna J. Cooper. All right. I love how Mama Anna uses visual language to portray the misogyny that has kept our society captive. We are truly operating at only at only half our collective capacity since we are not listening to women. This is why I'm working hard to raise girls and fearless women and raise boys who are wise enough to give them their space. Let's go to the next quote. It is the curse of minorities in this power worshiping world that either from fear or from uncertain policy of expedience, they distrust their own standards and hesitate to give voice to their deep convictions, submitting supinely to estimates and characterizations of themselves is handed down by not unprejudiced dominant majority. Anna Julia Cooper. I love the way uh, old, old English is written with all these extra words in it. So who she went in black people stop hating on yourself. That's basically what she's saying. Don't believe what our oppressors tell us about ourselves. I'm reminded of something two of my colleagues and friends say all the time. Both Mr. Jenks Morton and Mr. Andre Perry are in my ear telling me all the time that we need black people who don't believe every negative thing that they hear about black people. All right, let's pour a libation for Anna Julia Cooper, for our ancestors and our grandcestors. We never forget, so never fear. For homies who ain't here, we pouring out a beer. Because of you, it'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames to flickers, we pouring out some liquor. We're the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs, honor you by pouring out some water. Ladies and gentlemen, that was our libation. Now, let's talk about today's business that we're going to talk about. Every Tuesday, I'm going to highlight a business. And let me show you the business that I want to highlight today. <laughs> 